All right, now that we've finished patching, there's two ways to get out of this screen. The first is hitting the back button here. The second is pressing close patch right here. Either works. Now that we uh, close patch here, we see a couple things. One is our first window here is the fixtures presets window. This allows us to select all of our lights in a really organized manner. But what we're going to do in this video is work with our 2D plan. Now, our 2D plan, if we go here to option seven on our left sidebar, is just a, a two-dimensional representation of our stage. It can be um, very abstract. It can be exactly matched to what you're doing. It can be an overhead view. It can be a front view. There are so many options as to how to lay out your 2D plan, but it is going to affect things later on, and it's going to help you. How so? Well, with the Dylos pixel mapping, which allows you to run video across your lights, and we've got a tutorial later in this series here that'll walk you through that, the position of the items of the lights in your 2D plan determines how the video goes across them. So setting them up kind of the way that your stage looks is probably a really good idea. First thing I'm gonna do is go to my fixtures preset tab, and I can see here I've got a couple options. I've got all my individual fixtures and I can just press to toggle any of these fixtures on and off. I've got groups of which there are none yet. We'll do that in the next video. Masks, auto groups, and whatever lights are selected. Okay. And so the auto groups are going to help us to create what we're starting with here. I'm just going to select the Artiste Da Vinci standards and now go to my 2D plan. In my 2D plan here, we have a live right up here. We'll switch that to edit by tapping on it. And then we can press add. Now we're going to add, first of all, fixtures. So this is our regular lights. And we've got some options as to add mode. And for the first fixture, we're going to use the line. Press place fixtures. And then we get some instruction at the top here about drawing a line to place our fixtures. Very simple. We'll go ahead and make them take up this space. Awesome. Now let's go ahead and add a second fixture. And I want to demo some of the tools that we can use that are going to make our life easier and help us fix any mistakes or messiness that we cause. So we'll go to our fixtures presets. This time deselect by pressing our Artiste Da Vinci's, select our fuse washes, go back to the 2D plan, add. This time I'm going to do the single add mode. This adds lights one at a time. Now, we can also do the squiggly line, which uh, allows you to draw a freeform line, a circle, or a grid where you set the number of columns and the rows are automatically figured out based on how many fixtures you have selected. In the single add mode, we just go and we place each fixture one at a time. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this, make a huge mess out of it. And so now we want to make this neat. We want to make it organized. We want to make it not look so terrible. How do we do that? Well, there's a couple tools built in that are really going to help us with that. So if I take this and I put my last light and my first light in the places that I want, and I keep the rest in order from left to right, I can now draw a box and use the align tools. First, I'll use the align and we'll align to the topmost fixture here and then spread them evenly. You can see there's other tools in here for vertical spread, uh, aligning left or right, and switching the layout to a circle or grid as needed. Awesome. Now let's go ahead, grab our next set of fixtures. That's our individual channels. Go ahead and add those guys in. I like the line mode for most things. That works really great. Put those out here. Then we'll go ahead, go to our fixtures, grab our darts, add those guys in. I believe those ones are on the ground, so we'll kind of put them here in the real rig. Awesome. And then we've got our color choruses. That's our last setup. Now, these are special because they're a multi-part fixture. And adding them into the 2D plane is a little bit different. Now, what do I mean when I say a multi-part fixture? Well, 
it's just simply a light that has multiple outputs of it, multiple lenses or multiple well, attributes of the same kind. In this case, each 72 inch or six foot strip has 12 parts, right? It has 12 segments, um, if I'm doing that math right, yeah. And so there's 12 LEDs, we can control them individually, and we wanna get them into our 2D plan. If I go to my 2D plan and I just go to add and leave it on fixtures, then I'm gonna get 96 individual sub fixtures of these lights. That's not what I want. In this case, I'll go to combined fixtures. I can see my eight lights right here and I can select them. And then I'm able to add, mo add them using the add mode. Pressing place combined fixtures I'm gonna go ahead and um, actually for these, I'm gonna add a new page here at the bottom. So press add, get a second page, and now we can have a page just for these lights. We'll draw a line and we'll see that they're a huge mess. Nothing to fear. So these came in horizontally, but I want them vertically. So here we've got our rotation and we just rotate them nice and easy, okay? And as we can see here now, we have each light it has all of its segments. And if we pop back into live mode, just by hitting that edit, we're able to visualize that as well. And so that's it, that's really the basics of the 2D plan. There, there's more under the hood, of course, um, with pages and options and layers, but this will get you started. And in full honesty, for most shows, this is about as deep as I go with it. Uh, if, you, if you do want more, if you are interested in more, I have some bonus videos for you on using effects inside of Onyx and how to really get the most out of things. And so to, to grab those bonus videos, um, head over to the link here on the screen over at learnstagelighting.com. It's a special link that'll allow you to get those bonus videos and really supercharge what you're doing with, with Onyx and also see the other resources we've got available about Onyx from Learn Stage Lighting. Awesome. With that, guys, in our next video, we're going to talk about groups. It's going to be so good. We'll see you there. Thanks.